best musical work. It wasn't. But I made it with free instruments, free for you to download, that have the non-suitable name of Monster. So if you want to check out some decent free instruments, I will show them for you. That was the raw sound of the instruments. I didn't put any EQ, compression, reverb or anything like that on the instruments. It was only the instruments with the preset playing. I didn't even automate anything, just so you can hear what the instruments sound like. I have some plugins on my master bus, but that's only to make the video sound okay. What are these plugins then? Well, they are made by a guy called Agus Hardiman. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, so excuse me if I'm uh, if I'm not. He's from Indonesia and makes these free plugins and send them to the world. Send them to you if you want to. And there are a few instruments, so let's check out my plugin list here. AU Instruments, Agus TV. Golden Piano, Monster Bass, Drums, Ethnica, Keys, Piano, Strings, Synths, and Voxana. Those are the instruments you can download, and they are sample-based. And the sample folder you can place wherever you want, on, your, on a separate hard drive if you want, and just point the plug-in to the direction of that folder. And it will load pretty quickly for being a sample-based instrument. Let's check a couple of plugins out, shall we? Let's open up a plugin and see what it does. Let's start with drums because it's fun. Uh, I go into my folder and drums. And the, the preset we are faced with is Acoustica Hits. It's fine. And uh, let's say EDM, what's that? And claps. And one cool thing is that they have a cajon uh, sample kit. That's odd. I don't think I have cajon samples anywhere else. Let's mess with a uh, drum kit a little bit just so you can see what it can do. Let's take this metal kit uh, because they have skulls. We need some skulls more. Uh, the only thing you can change is the pitch of the drum, the panning. We have an overall reverb and a filter, but also ambience volume for individual hits, individual individual drums and cymbals. So if I play the snare and change the ambience, that's like a, how much it sends to a reverb. Let's pitch it down a little bit. And the kick up. Yeah, that's cool. So you can mess around with that. Uh, and then we can go to the strings to see. I like this plugin, not because it sounds like real strings, because it doesn't, but it sounds good. And a few presets here also, of course, Ensemble, King's Chamber. Uh, I should learn how to play. And some solo strings, they were not so good, but they're there. And you can see that the hue changes according to the preset, which is really cool. Uh, in this, we have attack, decay, sustain, release, an ADSR, and we have a chorus. Rather wobbly chorus, but that's cool. And delay. Yeah, cool. Let's take the synthesizer plug-in. Here we have a few more controls. We have a glide, poramento it's sometimes called. Uh, we have an LFO. Uh, and we have a filter with high pass, low pass or none. The filters are, mm, yeah, an ADSR and a reverb. You can't change the reverb, just more or less. 
And in the press sets we have some bells first. Basilic serpent, what is that? Some weird bells. And we have hits, let's see, Xenos war dog. Oh yeah, that's a war dog. We have other hits. Uh, let's say what, lightning golem? Yeah, hits. Uh, we have pads, uh, let's say sand creeper, what is that? Okay, and then uh, let's say pluck, I like the pluck sounds. Uh, and we can change it with a filter, of course. Let's say low pass. Something you can automate if you want to. Uh, and uh, riser. These are were pretty exciting. And when I release my finger, it stops. Let's look at a lead sound also. See what is the wrestling orca. What is that? Hmm, one more, uh, because it was fun. Uh, blissful swing, Sphinx. Hmm, yeah, cool. There were a few sounds from these series of Aegis Hardeman plugins, but let me show you now the plugin I probably will use the most from this series, and it's called Keys version 2, and it looks like this. And now we have keys, choir, pad, brass, pluck, and SFX, and it doesn't sound now. But as soon as I turn one of these knobs on, buttons, it should buttons. It sounds choir and uh, pad and brass. I just choose randomly now and pluck and SFX and then I can combine it. So let's say piano keys with some DX and a choir pad and another pad, not that choir pad, maybe that, and, and I can turn how many on as I want. Why would I sh use this? Well, I will use it in songwriting, because I can, with just the push of a button, have a pad with the piano or a brass with a piano, or a choir with a pluck, and and write songs with it. I will probably not use this sound in the final production, but to write the song, is it's an excellent tool. Really, really good. And that is also what I would use most of the plugins for, songwriting. I will have a few of them in my songwriting template, because they are, it's very fast to find a sound that is ish what I'm after, probably not as fast to find a sound that is exactly what I'm after, but that's in a production process. First, I want to write my song. <laughs> that's the way I work. Is there something more I would like from these plugins? Yeah, I, I would like to be able to change a little bit more within the plugins, like uh, resonance on the filter, for example, on the synthesizer. Maybe a uh, high and low EQ on each individual drum. And also in this keys plugin, maybe I don't want so much bottom end on my pad, but I want it on the piano, so I can take the bottom end out of the pad. That would be awesome but i won't complain they are free and they are decent tools to have especially for songwriting i think and also some of the samples i don't have any other place like the cajon samples go and download these plugins the link is down below ghost is a kind of monster isn't it ghost in swedish is spirke 
spöke. Until next time, Roger Bert.